and Dub Braden from the jetty at Sunny Beach, which I've picked the one day it's actually not sunny. <laughs> so I wanted to come down and film a few things down the front, and uh, last, it's just been so hot and so packed with people. Uh, I've got a cooler day today, it does happen occasionally. Um, normally it's sort of 30 degrees at this time of year in June, but it's only 25 today, which obviously is freezing, 25 degrees, and a job to cope. Anyway, I'm going to show you a few bits of sunny beach and we'll discuss why you're going to probably come. If you're booked already, you're on your way, you're going to be coming in the next few weeks, I'll show you a few things to look forward to. And if you haven't booked, uh, a couple of reasons may, what, may you may want to book to come here for a, a fantastic holiday. Because we have the beaches, we have the bars, we have everything you really need for a holiday. And we also have some fantastic hotels here. Lots of them. Some big ones with aqua parks, some smaller ones. Some family hotels, small ones, family run. So, let's start a little tour of Sunny Beach today. Show you why you should be coming here. <laughs> we live here, so um, that's why I'm here. I'm not going anywhere else. Just love it on the Black Sea coast here in Bulgaria. It's an amazing place to be. So the beach runs all the way from Sveti Vlas. Saint Vlas with a marina there, very nice marina. It runs all the way along the shore here. We have a big wheel. We have lots of big hotels on the front. Lots of sunbeds, lots of beach bars. It's just your typical beach resort that you're going to find anywhere in the world, really. It's what people want is a beach, some water sports, and then amazingly, as this bay comes to the end here, we have Old Nessie Bar, a World Heritage Site. So you can go from a modern resort to some old ruins and quaint little streets. That's only two, that's two miles away, so it's all here along the coast here on the Black Sea. It's beautiful. Um, the one of the great things with Sunny Beach is between the pay zones where you have to pay for a brolly and pay for a parasol, which costs you a few beers, you have this, which is the free zone, where you bring your own towel. Just chill out and relax. Doesn't cost you a penny to come down here. Um, you, but you're right in the centre of the resort and it's free to use the beach here. No problem. And um, we're right behind the, um, the guys doing the jet skiing. Uh, I've been chatting to them and the, the photographer and whatever, nice chat. And um, you've got something to watch all day. Isn't that good? There we go, there's a price list. If you fancy having to go out on the water. There you go. And then also the guys are getting a... Um, they are getting the safety talk before they go out. Where you can go, where you can't go. Oh, great fun in Sunny Beach, come and hire a jet ski. There you go, here is the lifeguard sitting in his station. And he's watching over the beach. There we go, on the top of the station is a flag. So today it's a warning, well it's a yellow flag. That basically means keep your inflatable toys off the beach, off the sea, because there is a bit of a wind. Now, if there are flags on the, um, on the stations, that means the lifeguard is sitting there. If there's no flag, there's no lifeguard. He might have gone home, he's off duty. So always look for a, around a station where there is a flag. Just a good tip. Well, coming back from the jetty, heading into the resort, is the main, is the Strip and Flower Street. It's a, they call it a mini Las Vegas. It's just lots of neon signs. It's well lit at night. Lots of tourist bars. It's the most expensive part of town, ready to go out in. But next to that, we have the Slingshot, one of the biggest sort of landmarks in Sunny Beach. People get shot up in the air on elastic. Fantastic. There you go. Now, but, funny enough, the, uh, this is actually the centre. Near enough on the map, this is the centre of the resort. So if you ever get lost, head to the beach, 
and look for the slingshot and you'll find Flower Street and you, the centre. You can centre yourself, know where you are, it's dead easy. And along all this beach run the beach bars, lots of them. Go and have a cocktail, chill out and look at the sea. Couldn't get better than that, could it? <laughs> Sunny beach. Ah, the sun is coming out, I can feel it. It's getting better. Oh, I knew that cloud wouldn't last very long. And this is Palm Beach. They've got some beautiful dancing girls on this afternoon. They look absolutely fantastic. And the guys are really enjoying this. <laughs> it's so brilliant at night with all the tribute acts on. And sometimes in the daytime they have phone parties with lots of kids getting covered in the stuff. They just had to having great fun on the beach. It's a fun filled holiday resort. And of course, one of the main things to do in Sunny Beach all day and all night is shopping. There are hundreds and hundreds of stalls. All your normal holiday stuff, the beach wear, lots of t-shirts, lots of um, accessories and little things to take home, little trinkets. There's certainly no shortage of shopping in Sunny Beach. It is a bit of a centre for fake designer brands, so you can actually go home with loads of really smartly labelled stuff. It's not real. <laughs> On the other hand, when you get home, nobody will know the difference, will they? <laughs> there you go. This is the strip in daytime. <laughs> It doesn't look so exciting in daylight. It's only when the lights come on that it really comes alive. Uh, it becomes very vibrant, with lots of noise, lots of cooking, lots of bands. Great place to come in the evening. There you go. Daytime. It's great for, you can wander around, do a bit of shopping. But uh, all the excitement and the music is at night. Once it gets dark, then it's, then it's absolutely brilliant. A few hours, mate. Tonight, this is going to be absolutely buzzing. Packed with people, having a great time. Lots of music, lots of cooking. It's good, the smell of the food, it's going to be amazing. But there you go, that's the, uh, that's the afternoon. Still people around, just doesn't have the same feel. I really love Sunny Beach at night. That's when it really, really comes alive. It's fantastic. There are some really great tourist bars in Sunny Beach. This is central. Um, and uh, they are expensive on the strip. But however, what they do do, they have fantastic entertainment on. So you come in and have a beer. This one is the one for the ladies. How about this one? These are guys showing off their pecs. <laughs> it's very much a ladies show, obviously. Um, you can go and see Elvis or Tom Jones, or you can come and see some, some really thick guys here with their shields and swords. It's a good show, bit of a laugh. But there's no need to be bored in the evening, there's plenty of day. And you find all over the resort these, uh, well, especially down Flower Street, are the resort reps. Now, if you're a bit younger, they're selling the tickets to the nightclubs. And also the uh, bar crawls, party crew. So DJV, the nightclub ones, are basically the blue outfits. When you see the green ones there for the, they're another company, it's the party crew. And they do the phone parties and um, nights out basically, crawling around the bars. Good fun if you're a bit younger, I think. <laughs> I think I'm past it, never mind. I can't stay up till four in the morning. You can eat uh, traditional Bulgarian food, even in the middle of the resort, you can have traditional food. Give it a try. Um, Bulgarian food is absolutely amazing. We love the catering here. Fantastic shops for salads, amazing sort of hot pots and stews, and then we've got hot plates with cast iron plates with sizzling food. Give it a go. Just Try something different. There's some large, very fancy restaurants where you can do the standard sort of international,
catering, international cuisine. You can sit outside in a beautiful, beautiful restaurant, have a nice meal. A lot more expensive, but if you're on holiday, why not give yourself a treat? There you go, that's Flora. La Flora. Beautiful place. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now here's one of the very simple grills. These are all over Sunny Beach. Self-service grills. Um, it's a more economic way of eating. Obviously there's no waiters to pay for. It's very simple. There you go. Get a hot tasty meal from the bake from a really nice grill. There you go. Okay, it could just start the day off with some food that could be a simple bakery, some fresh tasty pastry. There's some really great bars used by the locals. This is one of them. A lot of the expats and I've got a lot of people who live here, like us. And they will choose a bar away from the main tourist drag. Half the price, much much better. There you go, that's Condon 94, one of the most popular bars in Sunny Beach. Great little place to sit and have a coffee as well. Here we go, Bulgaria is obviously part of the EU now. It's come on a long way from the old days when it's part of the Eastern Bloc. There's fantastic supermarkets, you can get everything you want to buy for your holiday here in Sunny Beach. No problem. This is the Neptune Beach and this is actually the top scoring um, hotel on reviews it's absolutely phenomenal it's beautiful um a great choice so there's so many hotel rooms here which show massive variety depending on what your budget is and what sort of place you enjoy and while you're here you can get away from the beach there's um quad biking jeep safaris uh, Bulgarian village nights with dancing and all sorts. Uh, learn a bit of the history of Bulgaria. You don't have to stay on the beach. It's an amazing country. It's a, one of the oldest countries. So from uh, one of the very, very happy eating places in Sunny Beach, Bistro Billy's, where they're uh, putting the pigs on now, the spit roast pigs for this evening. It's Ciao Ciao for now. And I hope you enjoyed my little trip around Sunny Beach today. Actually got sunnier and sunnier through the day while I've been filming and it's really hot now. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Anyway, ciao ciao for now. See you again later. If you really enjoyed the video and you'd like to see a few more of these, uh, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. Thanks a lot. Ciao ciao.